So I bet a lot of you are going to ask me in the comments or people in real life are going to ask me this. Which one's better? Ghost Protocol or Rogue Nation? Why you have to torture me like that? That's a really hard question. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. The fifth installment of the Mission Impossible series. So I will go ahead and admit it. I have never seen Ghost Protocol until this week. I watched all of them just to refresh my mind for this one and I finally watched Ghost Protocol for the first time. It was awesome. Now we're here in the fifth movie, and this one's directed by the guy who did Jack Reacher. This movie stars Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt, and his group of spy people, all of them are together to defeat the rogue nation. And these people, they take out Tom Cruise's men, they take out spy people, and no one believes Tom Cruise. Even his own team doesn't even believe him until the CIA goes after Tom Cruise, and like, we don't believe him. So him and his friends have to work together and defeat the Rogue Nation, but the question is, do his friends believe him? Which is such a good story. That is intriguing, that is awesome, I like that kind of story. When your group of friends, you've known the whole franchise, or at least Ghost Protocol, and you don't know if you can really trust your own partner, that I love that. I love the kind of movie. Tom Cruise is an action star. Let's go get that out of the way. He's been an action star for a long time, and he's he's 50-something, and he's grabbed onto a plane really doing that. If you don't know, in the trailer, in the poster, whatever you see, with him grabbing on that plane, go up in the air, he's really doing that. Tom Cruise is an action star. Tom Cruise kills it, and you can tell. He's not just doing it for action kind of fun stuff. He's really taking a really serious role in this movie. Jeremy Renner was awesome in this movie. He wasn't as good as I thought in the fourth one, but he was cool in this movie. Vig Rames, is that his name? Vig Rames, I forget. He was good. I'm glad he's back in this one because he was a really cool character. Simon Pegg is still hilarious. And my gosh, people underrate him. Watch The World's End. Watch Star Trek. Watch this. He can do a lot of kind of stuff. Simon Peck is such an unrated actor. He does a great job. Alec Baldwin, he was good. Guy. He was a good guy. I mean, he was he was a good guy in the movie. He was a CIA agent, but he was a good job. He kind of added to this cast. He, I like Alec Baldwin. I'm glad to see him back in a good movie. But my gosh, can we please talk about Rebecca Ferguson? Holy crap, man. You remember Mad Max? Remember Furiosa? She is this in this movie. She almost overwhelms Tom Cruise. Well, kind of. They're both badasses. Tom Cruise and Rebecca Ferguson, especially Rebecca Ferguson, they are awesome, especially Rebecca Ferguson. Please get her more movies, please. More action movies, more kind of stuff. The villain in this movie, the villain's compelling. It's like, it's interesting, and it's actually kind of, he's kind of like a really trickster kind of guy. Like, Tom Cruise, you actually have a match. I like when characters have match. For example, Batman and Bane. Bane was a complete, like, it hurt Batman. This is that kind of movie. This villain hurts Ethan Hunt, and I like that kind of villain, so it was a great villain. The action. First off, the director of Jack Reacher directed this movie. He did an awesome job. He did an awesome job. Wide shots, beautifully well shot action scenes, and my gosh, I'm gonna talk about some action scenes. First things first, the plane scene, Tom Cruise really doing that, that's amazing, that's awesome. It was so intense. Just seeing him literally on the plane going up. He do he had to do like eight times, I think. I think I have to look that up. I wouldn't I don't know if I could have done that. I wanna be an actor, but I don't know if I could have done that. That is crazy. Another thing, the uh, bike the bike chase scene. One of the best bike chase scenes I've ever seen. Honestly. Him on that motorcycle. It, that was Tom Cruise on the motorcycle. I swear that was, that was him on a motorcycle going speeding down the highway with cars coming past him and bad guys literally flipping and shooting explosions. That was beautifully shot. And my gosh, one of the scenes I saw from the trailer, but I didn't expect it to be as intense. The scene where he goes under the water to dysfunction this kind of thing I don't want to spoil, which is part of the storyline. But when he goes underwater, it's like it's spinning, like he's like a little machine. It's spinning and it hits him, and he can't get the switch or whatever. It's so intense, and my gosh, I was gripping myself like, oh man, dude, this movie was awesome. Rogue Nation was so much better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it'd be a good movie. No, this was an awesome movie. It's one of my favorite movies of the summer, one of my favorite movies of the year. I can keep talking about this movie. Such beautifully action. It's just so, so well done. This, Jurassic World and Mad Max and Avengers are some of my favorite summer movies. Ant-Man, dude, summer was awesome. And this movie is right up next to the Jurassic World, in my opinion. 
Mission Impossible Rogue Nation was an awesome movie. This is what action needs to be in every type of action movie today. But not every action movie is like this. This is what needs to be. Great performance by Tom Cruise, Rebecca Ferguson, Simon Pegg, Jeremy Renner, Alec Baldwin, the villain guy, and Vig Rams. All of them. Just a great cast, great characters, great story, really compelling, amazing action scene. Just a great movie all around. And there's no other grade I can give it to this movie. I'm giving this movie a perfect 5 out of 5. I'm glad to be saying that. I haven't said that in a while. This movie deserves it. It's one of the best movies of the year. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this movie review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.